Welcome back to the LaTeX session 8. In this session, we will learn to typeset mathematics in LaTeX. For mathematics, LaTeX become a very popular because of the ease with which one can write mathematics. In fact, it is the greatest strength of LaTeX. There is no need to include any package if your document has basic mathematical expression. But for some complex one, you can include AMS Math or Math Pro. For more complex one, note that AMS Math is included in Math Math Tool. So if you include Math tool in your document you need not to include AMS maths. One need to write mathematics between a dollar sign or the slash bracket slash square bracket followed by the slash and then the closing of the bracket. I am pushing to overlay Let's see again. Here I have already written some basic. We have used the package AMS Max. I have created a section and paragraph, and this is some random text I've written. This section covers typesetting in letters. So let us write some basic mathematics expression. Dollar Dollar Three Which is the power Three Four Two. Most of the power. Three. Is equal to. Is equal to. Forty-five. Then let us try one more and. Dollar two backslash times two is equal to four. We can find it. So here you can see we have got the same expression and for the multiplication we always will backslash time. It means the multiplication. We are multiplying 2 with 2. So as, as you can see that this expression is typeset along with the regular text. So there are two ways of typesetting a mathematics. The first is to display in line, that is along with the text, which we just did. And the next is to display it on a separate line in a larger font size. For that, the syntax is, now, let's write, square bracket and here we go let's write some trigonometric function sine square theta plus 
is equal to 1 and we put flesh is recombined so here you can see it is center aligned with the sine square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1 now let's take some another example of union set theory. The union of two sets A and B is denoted as Right dollar e backslash cup b is equal to backslash curly bracket x backslash in e or x backslash in b backslash or rather close curly packet recompile so here so the union of two sets A and B is denoted as A union B is equal to X lies in A or X lies in B. Well, it looks good but it is not looking great because as you notice here, if you do that, the OR word has got attached to the word A and X. This need to be interpreted as normal text, where the latex has interpreted it as a mathematical expression. So to avoid this, we write the command. So to write this, we write a command with the backslash text. Text. The or we come so there is still not any difference so we will put some backslash well we still need some space here so we will add slash and slash so here you can see the we can use we can read the word or other text now let's see another mathematical chart what so now let's understand about the fraction. For the fractions, the commonly used command is backslash frac numerator and denominator. So this is some of the example like 3 by 5. How you can write backslash frac in the curly braces 3 and then 5. Suppose you have some this kind of expression x plus 3 x square. So for that we will use this way. So let's try and learn how to write the fractions form. 
So let us write some simple fraction. What will do? S slash sec V. We compile. So what will do? So here you can see a by b, a fraction. Now let us make this fraction bit more complicated. So instead in the b in the denominator, let's add some more terms. Let's say c. times section s slash section d e x slash d e b slash and then f and then it should be greater than for the greater than it is g e q greater than equal to 1 recompile So let me zoom, give it zoom for the better visibility. So you can see A fraction BC multiplied by, in the numerator again we have a fraction D by E and then in the denominator we have F and it is greater than equal to 1. Now let us write some text before and after this fraction expression. This is a fraction expression. We are learning. So here you can see this is the fraction expression. Actually, it need to be put outside the bracket. I'm sorry, it comes in the dollar sign. We compile. Here you can see, this is fraction expression, let's put some space, we are learning. Now, let us try to write this expression in a separate line, which is centered aligned, so what we'll do, we just copy paste the text, this expression, and instead of dollar, what we have to do, to display the text, and then, we compare. So it's showing some error that some extra zero we have done something wrong. So 
in order to write the equation separately we need to put the square bracket not the curly bracket so this is square bracket and recompile again so here we got our expression now let us add one more fraction backslash square bracket backslash curly bracket then the round bracket fraction a b followed by the bracket plus round bracket plus a fraction c d whole bracket and this is let's zoom and here you can see that the fractions a b c d they are displayed in the larger font sign for the brackets are still very small so to address this issue let us go back to the slide again so variable size of braces the braces is a style and the appropriate brace the styles are big with a capital b big with a small b and big with a capital b and big with a small b and you can see this particular expression is written using this command so let us modify the example that we just created now let's remodify it so what we'll do backslash b i b g Followed by the curly braces. Then again, B I G G. Then again, B I G G. Hmm. B I G G and the last after the end of the expression capital B I G G. Now we compare. So here you can see. with the font size of our fraction the brackets are also looking fine there is one mistake the last bracket is seems to be small so where we miss the bracket with the c and d so here is the c and d so okay we have missed here Now I think this look fine. Yeah. Now it appears to be fine. Now let's again switch to the slide. Now, now to understand the summation, summation is represented as backslash sum followed by an 
underscore followed by the minimum value and curly brace followed by the rest to the character followed by the maximum value in curly brace. So let's try out these two commands. So let's try to add the summation expression for that. Backslash square bracket sum underscore followed by the curly bracket i is equal to a to the power b then g of i is equal to 0 let's write some text text for b is less than a we compile so here you can see the summation i is equal to a to b g of i is equal to 0 for b is less than a let's get some more space Yeah. Now for B is less than A. Let's write one more expression. Backslash. Now write sum underscore I is equal to one. To the power n for i is equal to fraction n round bracket n plus 1 round bracket close followed by the close curl bracket and then in the curl bracket again 2 3 we compile So here you can see that summation of i is equal to n from i is equal to 1 to n i value of i is equal to n bracket n plus 1 by 3. So till now we have learned how to typeset the simple mathematical expression, how to search symbol and commands, how to typeset sections and summation and how to adjust the size of the brace braces. Now one thing I would like to mention uh, in order to find out the symbols so the comprehensive latex symbol list is available on this website you can go and search the latex 
symbols and if you want to find some unknown symbols which are not aware so for that you have to go to this website and search for the same so let's see let me just copy paste this and show you so here you have you can see these are the lists so you can see the symbols if for here is the pdf you can see as per your requirement when you type the mathematical equation in the latex in the same way if you want to find out the unknown symbol for that what you will do so here you need to draw the symbol for example like i have drawn this so they have given me the mood and the symbols so for example i have drawn the pi so for that we use the latex code the command backslash pi Suppose it is draw some another symbol. So this is ohm. So they have given the number of options. So here it is backslash ohm. So this way, if you don't know any symbol, you can simply draw the symbol over here, and it will suggest the symbol. And as per your requirement, you can copy paste the command for that particular symbol. So this is all about this session. Thank you for your attention. See you in the next session.